ये जीवन कहानी उस महान व्यक्ति की है जिनकी स्मृति में यह स्मारक निर्माण किया गया है Your keys again? Yeah. What's cooking? I just made some spaghetti. Oh, great. You need some help? No, I'm almost finished. But you can help clean up afterwards. Why do you always ask me to do things that I hate to do? Because I love you. Great. Mmm, buonissimo. Yes. <laughs> Here. Can you take this to the table? I bought four tickets for the Mantra Rock Festival tomorrow, and uh, Jim and Mark are also coming. Swamiji is coming tomorrow. Michael asked us to go to the airport to receive him. I already bought the tickets, and I called Jim and Marta. Sam, I don't like rock music. What do you mean you don't like rock music? You used to be crazy about rock music before. What happened to you now? Ever since Michael's introduced us to Swamiji's teachings, I've changed. What's so special about Swamiji's teachings? That we're not this body, and that we are spirit soul, which is eternal, full of knowledge and bliss. And that this material nature is full of misery, and that we're supposed and to... And therefore, the goal of this human form is to be free from material bondage. Okay, I give up. No more <laughs> rock music. Tomorrow we'll go pick up Swamiji at the airport. <laughs> the center of hippie land for your temple actually my disciples selected this place for me this is Mukunda Das he was my disciple in New York he was very keen to have me here in San Francisco he made all the arrangements probably he selected this place maybe because the rent is cheap 
have you come with any particular message? Yes, we have come with the message of Sri Krishna, hmm. the Supreme Personality of Godhead. We welcome everyone in whatever condition of life to come to our temple and hear that message. Does that include the Haidashray hippies and bohemians? Whoever he is, you can also come. Whatever he is, what you call uh, acid head or hippie or anybody, what he is does not matter. Once you have accepted our training, you will change. What is your stance on drugs and sexual freedom? If you want spiritual advancement, you have to give up drugs and other bad habits. Those who want to enter our movement, they must abstain from bad habits. Is sex bad? No. Sex is not bad. Illicit sex is bad. If you want to have sex, you can always marry her. You see, the desire to have sex without procreation is very bad. If you want to have sex, marry her and have hundred children. You mentioned you have four rules. What are they? I don't allow my students to have girlfriends. I prohibit all kinds of intoxicants, including tea, coffee, and cigarettes, etc. I prohibit meat eating, and I prohibit gambling. And LSD? LSD is also a drug. I cannot allow my students to use it, or any other intoxicant. My students are trained to get up early in the morning, have a bath, and attend prayer meetings three times a day. It is all a nature of austerity, and it is a science of God. I can see that you're very conservative. Conservative? About what? I think he's talking respects to sex and drugs, Swamiji. Oh, in that respect, we are conservative. If you want spiritual advancement, you must give up sex and intoxicants. We are maintaining certain standards, but yet, we are inviting everybody into our movement. When once you come into our movement, we expect you to maintain the high standards and work for spiritual advancement. About that, there is no compromise. And what do you have to say about the war in Vietnam? These people are fighting because they want to establish their false proprietorship. But in actual fact, everything belongs to God. If man can understand that aspect and tries and learns to follow that principle, there will be peace all through. As long as we do not understand that aspect, you see, whether it is Vietnam or Suriname, there will be fighting and they will fight like cats and dogs. San Francisco is quite different from New York. Yes, it's very scenic, whereas New York is like a concrete jungle. There's only so much space between the two rivers, therefore the city expanded skywards. Yes. I see the buildings are very small here. Big or small, everything will be destroyed one day. The material nature is temporary, and no one will ever be able to make a permanent situation here. Yes, that's very true, Swamiji. And you are the one who made us realize that. Hare Krishna.